back like we never left sv here with a live reaction to nano machine this week we read in chapters 81 to 83 so you know the vibes last chapter the cliffhanger was our boy prince yo started the sixth test fighting against the leader of the poison clan obviously because prince yo is so strong the poison clan on that fuckery trying to kill him right here but you know prince yo not gonna have that so we're gonna see what happens let's hop in nano machine chapter 81 let's get it and okay we started right as we left off prince yo on this poison assholes of bumper he's <gasps> He's like, now it's my turn, motherfucker. What's up? Ooh, what the? His skin is regenerating. Oh my god. So it really, so it really did just melt his skin while it's melting away. So obviously Nano working his magic. Boom. So we see Prince Joe with a mean right hook. Bow. Clipped him. Wham. <laughs> This guy immediately knocked out. Eyes rolled back. <laughs> Don't tell me that's it. I can't see anything because of the smoke. What's going on? My leaves. You see Xiobong sobbing. He's like, bro, don't tell me this man got my murdered. Xiobong immediately sobbing, bro, a real one. You see Go Huang right here. It's over. With such a powerful poison, no matter how strong one's key might be, even bones would melt away. Why did he have why did he have to fight the poison clan? And then we see Moon Gyu turn away, but then Go Huang is like, huh? He sees that shit. Boom! Dude comes out. Whoosh. Dump. Doom. Doom doom crash. Boom! You see the guy hits the deck. It's over! Was it really, was it really too much for him? And then they finally noticed. So they think that who came out of the smoke is obviously Prince Yo. But as we gonna find out, he goes, what? That, that's not Chi on Yo Woon. That's the elder of the Poison Clan. The doom, goaded. And we see Prince Yo step out, bow, foot strong. This nigga is goaded. <laughs> bro, look at him, bro, with the, with the, bl yo, he is goaded. <laughs> this panel is so saucy, bro. So saucy. I don't believe this. He endured Cancel Elder Bakes poison? The Poison Clan Elder's poison arts that I saw during the war against the Martial Arts Alliance was deadly enough to be called a genocidal weapon. Bro. Yo. And then we see, as this guy, I think he was the ninth elder, I believe. He was just outside. Yeah, he's, I think he's a ninth. I can't remember. But he, we see him talking, and he's like, it was called a, like, a genocidal weapon. And we see the poison dude on a mountain of bodies with the poison just emanating off of them. Even Grandmaster Ok Myung of the Wudang clan was reduced to nothing by his poison art. I can't believe, I can't believe it even after seeing it with my own, my very own eyes. <coughs> Nigga coughing up. Yo, the poison is OD. But then, you know, look who stood, look who stood tall, bro. Look who went through that shit. That boy. <laughs> Yo, facts. Imagine you fighting somebody and he just regenerating. Nigga, he cheating over here, but it's fine. It's cool, bro. It's fine. We got the hacks. It's cool. Nigga <laughs> said cheating ass. <laughs> my ribs, my ribs broke even through it protected myself with key armor. Not only is his key powerful, but his physical strength is also beyond my imagination. And that regenerative ability just now. What are you? Are you even truly human? Get up! Oh my god, niggas told him get up. <laughs> get up. 10,000 butterfly dance. 
Butterfly dance, okay, butterfly dance secret technique. 10,000 butterfly dance. I'm gonna see Prince Yo on his bumper going crazy. Damn it, my, my staff. I have no choice. Oh shit. So he has no choice. What the fuck does he do? He kind of like, I guess, poisons him, his like, releases the poison out of his body. And he, we see his face turn kind of like black. The elder of the poison clan. A reflective force. Automatically extracting poison and re re um, regenerating wounds. I can't push it. I can't push it back with white with my white dragon blade because of how intense the poison key is getting. Ha! So we see the nigga eyes red face kind of like a darkish blue from the poison he like excreted from his body and we see him splash. and we see prince yo gets knocked back crazy yeah he holds up his sword what the hell so the poison key he was exhibiting early earlier wasn't his full power oh damn what <laughs> and then we see the nigga bro he's standing there and then just poison ore just flying over him his cape is billowing in the wind bro from the aura poison form it's over no one here is capable of stopping him now wait wait so you thought you said no one here so is he also saying himself as director of the school, he's like, I can't even stop him now. It's over. Is that what he's saying? The eighth level of the poison of destruction, the poison form where you become poison itself. The seventh level allows you to control 100 kinds of poison. The eighth level circulates three times as much poison inside your body, making your body as hard as a shield. And you start releasing poison key as it could even melt a massive, that could even melt a massive boulder. Purple man, yo, facts. Sun. To think to think you'd make me use the eighth level of the poison of destruction. Oof, he looks kind of sauce though. Now, why don't you try and stop me again with your oh so great weapon? So the white dragon blade doesn't work on him now. Yo, but he about to pull out the heaven sword, right? Don't, bro. If this man, Prince Yo, does not pull out the bracelet heaven sword, come on. I need it. Come on, bro. Come on. Prince Yo stands there, calm. He cool. Ping. He puts the sword down. Yes. Prince Yo, please. Show me the heaven sword, bro. Just show it to me, bro. Ping. We see his sword get, puts a thing into the, the the ground. Oh, he powers up. His own aura, blue style. Let's go. Okay, he releases a whole big ass crater as well. So they're showing face. Ooh, what is what is that now? I can't see anything. So the dust is in these eyes. They can't see shit. My liege. We see Go Wang. <laughs> so you want to continue using your petty little tricks <laughs> and we see he kind of like whirls a kind of poison cloud like in his hands ha <laughs> ah, what was that john you see thank you <laughs> bring out the fucking sword bro <laughs> and we see prince yo obviously puts his hand out the red and black <sighs> the metal pieces <sighs> swirl around his hand bro because he, he sees something like what? A red glow. It's the same. It's the same energy I felt earlier. Okay. And this, we see it. 
the fucking heaven sword <laughs> materializes in Prince Yo's hands, bruv. I'm certain. This one's dangerous. I have to strike first. So he knows. He could feel the intent from Prince Yo. He's like, nigga, I can't get hit by this one, bro. I gotta attack first. I gotta shoot first like Han Solo. Die! Man, shoot, man, shoots that shit. And before he shoots the cloud, you see, slash, slash, slash. <laughs> Cuts it up, bro. It's over. He goes, <laughs> shocked, ellipses. And we, and we see Prince Yo looking sauce. Eyes fully red. The sword in his hand. He's on his bumper like this. Come for the head. Ooh, what the? And then we see he he readies up his his hands, the poison guy, elder poison elder, and lets out some kind of like poison flash. Just, ah! And boom! So they end up clashing. Poison guy is stunned, bro. Dude, art is amazing as always, bro. Art is is fucking incredible. Some of these, like this right here, like with the with the speed lines and the light in the center of him with the bro, come on. The art is special in this shit. Boom! They clash. He noticed he's like, huh? Huh? Slash, 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 slash. Ah! Slash, 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 slash. So we see he notices and he's <laughs> Prince Yo going in. Hack, hack, hack. This man coughs up blood, Elder. Ping! He grabs the sword, Prince Yo. One final slash. King! Oh, I think he cuts his head off. I think he cuts his head off. Holy shit. He didn't go for the arm this time? He went for the head? Pr Yo. And Prince Yo with the speed. Just one clean, swift cleave, bro. Just king. Man, the head finna roll, bruv. <sighs> What's going on in there? I can't see because of the dust cloud. And we see the dust finally settles. Huh? Who is that? And we see Prince Yo fucking goaded. Blood all over him. Holding the head. He stopped getting arms, you know, bro. Take a heads now, bro. It's over. He has the head of the guy in his hand, bro. And everyone's low-key horrified. <laughs> we see somebody like this. <laughs> they cover him, but they got one eye open to make sure they watch him. They're like, I can't miss this, though. <laughs> oh, we got to get rid of the head of the family first. Yo, Sasuke, that's fucking big brain, bro. Oh my god. They're fucking horrified. <laughs> Ninth Elder, mouth on jaw on the ground, bruh. And we see the director like eyes open, stunned. <laughs> and the best thing about this is because no one saw what happened in the dust cloud, they didn't see the fucking sword. So that's still a secret we have in our back pocket. You know what I'm saying? Come on, bro. It's different. It's different. Yeah, bro. It, it's just fashion. It's just perfect. It's perfect. <laughs> Moon Gyu crying. Everybody is relieved. Our squad. They know our boy is real. <laughs> Yo, Bong sobbing. My, my leash. <laughs> Chion Yo Woon beheaded the leader of the Poison Clan. What in the world? To behead a council elder. To behead council elder G. Be council elder Bake, excuse me. While he was in poison form. Even I'm not sure if I could have won against his poison head on. When I first heard Animal Machine was in Miram, I heard that a trash art. If he went through Miram category, it's so... I haven't read a lot of Miram. The only ones I read are obviously this one and Northern Blade. And those are both have good art. You know what I'm saying? So, but like Miram is such a huge category. So there's bound to be some that are not great. You know what I mean?
So uh, yeah, but this one, art is 10 out of 10. A boy that knew nothing about martial arts became one of the top martial artists in a demonic cult in just four years. He's a genius. This nigga's tight. <laughs> Yo, he is tight. Oh my God, bro. Is that the dark, is, is it the dark cat? Oh, sword guy? I can't remember who this is, not sword. One of Prin one of Prince Yo's half brothers. He is tight. Okay, Dark Clan. Okay, I was gonna say the Dark Clan guy, bro. He is tight right now, bruv. Holy yo! He's clenching his fists so hard he's bleeding. Yeah, Dark Clan, yo. Appreciate y'all, bruv. Holy shit. Boom, he storms off. Young Master Chion Mu Yon. Is he really is he really a descendant of the Chion lineage? However, as justified as he was in killing the leader of the Poison Clan. I wonder how the Poison Clan that's lost their leader and the rest of the six main clans will respond. I still have a ways to go. I wanted to beat, I wanted to beat Big O with just a butterfly dance, but it was useless against his poison form. Just like how Big O had an ace up his sleeve, the rest of my enemies likely have one as well. True. I have to become much, much stronger. Bro, how much stronger are you gonna be? Go. His face clean. Because this is just the start of my vengeance for mother. The nigga, oh, yo, I love him, bro. Like, I love him. He never forgets why the fuck he's doing what he is. He's never one to forget, bro. You know, he's gained all this power and he still 100% is like, I'm gonna make y'all remember and, and realize and get revenge for what the fuck you did to my moms, bro. You know what I'm saying? Come on. You'll find out why he gotta get stronger? Okay, bet. Shit. That's what I'm saying, stronger. <laughs> what are you strong? I'm telling you, bro. It's crazy. Whew, that was a chapter, baby. Let's keep going. That was a chapter. God damn. That was hefty. They packing them up. So we see next chapter starts. We see they packing up the poison guy. <laughs> they let's not see this again. They packing them up, carrying them off. Brigade leader Chion, congratulations on passing the sixth test. And we see Prince Yo just like thank you so much. Whoa, my leaves! Congratulations, sir! Congratulations! Shouldn't we call you Council Elder now? <laughs> He's right. Ma Chak. Father, you've grown so much you've grown so big, my son. Have you been well, father? Haha, <laughs> yes. Ma Chak, have you decided on who who you'll serve as your liege in the Battle of the Heirs? He's gonna be like, you better serve Prince Yo. Watch. I actually wanted to discuss that before with you before you left. He's like, you better support him. <laughs> I'm sorry, Father. I wanted to pick among the six main uh, candidate, the six main clans, but my heart keeps telling me to pick Young Master Chion Yo Woon. I told you, bro. You truly are my son. You see, he was gonna tell you that anyway. <laughs> pardon? He's like, pardon? I respect your decision. Young Master Chion Yowoon is certainly worthy of your support. If we're lucky, he could even be your brother-in-law. So look, <laughs> I'm weak. So look after him well. Excuse me? <laughs> I'm dead. 
One hour later, the Demonic Academy, in front of a director's office, okay? Instructors, stay on standby outside. So they don't have a chat. Hmm? Prince Joe sees something. Boom. Sound barrier already up. Isn't there like three airs left? Bro. I think... Is it three? He took out two already, right? Took out the blade guy. Was it the, was it the blade guy? It was Yeah. He took out the weird guy with the ponytail. And then he took out the poison guy. So it was two, right? So there's four left? Or did he take out three? I can't remember. He's taking out a bunch of them, bro. But one clan is fully gone now. Because not only is their vice candidate gone, the grandson, the fucking elder is dead now. So, hey, it was it is. It's crazy. So as soon as they walk into this sound girl too? Wow. I, though, no lie, I legit forgot about the sound girl, bruv. Spring Clan and Dark Clan are the only ones left. Sheesh. I legit forgot about the sound girl, bro. That was early on. That was mad early. The shit, bro. Like, I completely forgot about her, bro. Wild. Yeah, it's three. So let's see, we see, as soon as they walk in the room, sound barrier goes up, boom. Young master, you've endured a lot up until now. Oh shit, so we see the director takes a bow and like kneels to Prince Yo. I sincerely congratulate you on passing the sixth test of the academy. He says, what? I, I, I'm not sure w what the meaning of this is. Since you since you've completed all the tests of a demonic academy, I'm showing my proper respect to a member of the Chian of the Chion lineage. Okay, I like to apologize. Until now, there were rules of the demonic academy, and since I was uncertain about that, I could only observe. Hmm. I can since I was uncertain about that. What does he mean by that, bro? Pardon? Pardon my bluntness, but I have to ask. Have you obtained the heavenly demonic founder's epiphany? I, I'm not sure what you're talking about. Of course. I don't know that it's still, I, I know that it's still difficult for you to trust me. I, Li Hua Myung, the left guardian of the heavenly demonic cult, swear to support young master Chion Yo Woon in the battle of the heirs. Yo. So the left guardian is literally backing him right now. Nah, that's different. As proof, I shall give you a medallion of my guardian family. Insane. Please accept it, sir. And Prince Yo is obviously stunned. Like what? Uh, I'm sorry, but I'm not sure if I can trust you when you're one of the close aides of the Lord. Mm. He's become careful. He's developed the necessary qualities. Come on. Come on. I don't know. Prince Yoi, I don't know if it's going to be his winner right now. It might be setting the seeds for later. Because Prince Yo right now is like, I can't trust you because you're a little too close to my my deadbeat dad. You know? You're right. I'm serving the Lord as the left guardian. Strictly speaking, due to the rules, I shouldn't support anyone. But there is something that take there is something that takes priority over rules. And what is that? 
my guardian family acknowledges the true successor to the heavenly demonic founders learnings as the future lord what i'm about to tell you is a secret that only a few in the cult know so please keep this to yourself so to me what he's getting at right now is that his family regardless of what the stakes are his family always supports the true heir the true king and that's the person who has the founder's epiphany so that's why he just asked him if you had it you know so that's what he's trying to figure out you see the heavenly demonic sword technique currently passed down to the lords is not the true technique of the heavenly demonic founder boom he's like what it's not does that mean the true sword technique of the heavenly demonic founder that's passed down from lord to lord was lost 5000 years ago 500 excuse me 500 years ago jesus christ bro so what the fuck was he learning the true sword technique of the heavenly demonic founder that's passed down from lord to lord was lost 500 years ago the three guardian families which are divided into the grand guardian family left guardian family and right guardian family have served the founders the founder of the cult who was the first lord and the heavenly demon all the way up to the current lord chion yo jong okay so they've been serving the lord for the minute the original demonic cult did not have a structure where multiple descendants were birthed through the main six clans originally the lord took the holy maiden the woman selected by holy fire as his wife whoa this is some fucking lore baby holy shit <laughs> this is some lore bruv wow so the three guardian families have served the founder of the cult who was the first lord and the heavenly demon all the way up to the current lord okay and the original demonic cult didn't have the structure with the main six clans originally the lord took the holy maiden the woman selected by the holy fire as his wife hmm that's crazy he learned it but they don't know they don't know because they can't enter the secret vault where you got the technique oh fuck bro you're talking about that secret room he found when he was in isolation training right so that's where that shit was oh my god that makes sense dude holy shit so he does know it already but they don't know interesting okay and because the child birthed by the holy maiden became vice lord no specific clan was able to consolidate power when the then the worst event in the cult happened roughly 500 years ago Had to let my cat in one time. He's scratching the door. Woodson, chill out, bro. Then the worst event in the in our cult happened roughly 500 years ago. Okay. The demonic cult was started from a Zoroastrian church in Xinjiang, a region in northeast China. Okay. After becoming the lord of the cult one has to go on a pilgrimage to the heavenly mountains in Xinjiang within 10 years okay so after they become lord they got to go to these mountains mountains look gorgeous by the way beautiful this panel gorgeous 
the Lord at the time, Lord Chion Mu Hui, left for his pilgrimage on his fifth year as the Lord. Okay. So is this technique di different from the demonic one left by the other guy? Yeah, so there's two techniques, I believe. If Sasuke, if I'm if I'm mistaken, correct me. So there's two different ones. There's the heavenly sword, right? And then there's like the demonic sword. So the demonic one is the one he found on the sapphire monolith. And there's a separate one he found in that little cave that he stumbled upon when he was in isolation training. So there's two different ones, if I'm not mistaken. Let me know if I'm wrong, for sure, you know what I mean? But that's how I'm getting it right now. In that pilgrimage, the Lord and most of his companions returned dead. That included the right guardian at the time. What? Who could have done such a thing to the Lord? The Lord of the heavenly demonic cult should have been one of the top five martial artists masters in the world yeah sword demon so the sword uh, yeah exactly so it's two different ones exactly the one he found on the monolith and then the the demon the heavenly sword he found you know in the little cave or little room or whatever oh shit so we say what what could have, who could have done such a thing to the Lord? The Lord, the Lord of the heavenly demonic coach should have been one of the top five martial arts masters in the world. He goes, the blade God. The blade God? What do you mean, bro? Yo, Prince Joe goes, what? Stunned. The, 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 the blade God? I've heard of him before. You have? Whoa. The sword demon... The sword demon was a man said to be the greatest swordsman in the history of the clan. And the only... And the only man he could... And the only man he could not beat was the Blade God. What the fuck... Yeah, the sword demon destructive sword technique was the one always fucked up the monolith with the marks. Yeah, exactly. Jesus. And the only man he could not beat was the blade god. Lord Chion Muhyo. Kwa had a child through the Holy Maiden, but she was a girl. So both the lineage of the heavenly demonic sword technique had perished. Wow. So both the lineage and the technique had perished. Lord Chion Muhue died without bearing a successor. And with the previous Lord suddenly passing away due to the illness, due to illness, the cult faced its greatest crisis. In order to solve this problem, the sword demon, who was the first council elder at the time, stepped up as vice lord. Because the sword demon was talented in many facets other than just martial arts, he was quickly able to stabilize the cult. Once the cult had been stabilized, his first priority was restoring the lost heavenly demonic sword technique. From the bre from the breathing and cultivation technique to the key to key flow and control, nothing was known, so there was no way to restore it. Jesus. And so the sword demon went to the detention center. It was the first time that someone not on the Chion lineage went in there. But none of the previous lords that entered had had managed to realize the founder's epiphany. And it was the same for the sword demon. So no one was able to get the epiphany at all. So 
So, he was able to copy the movement from the sword technique for the sword technique from the sword marks on the sapphire monolith. But without the actual key control methods and cultivation technique, he was unable to perform the techniques. So no one had solved this secret before. And obviously Prince Yo looks like he looks guilty, bro. Prince Yo can't even look at the right guardian because he's like, oh shit. I did it. He looks so guilty, bro. The sword demon only exited the, det the detention center after three years. By using the sword marks on the monolith as a base and adding on his own realizations, he created a new heavenly demonic sword technique. The council elders at the time agreed that it rivaled the, the lost heavenly demonic sword technique, so it was decided that it would be passed down onto the daughter of the Lord. Okay. Then, the sword demon moved the monoliths from the detention center to the precious library of the demonic academy. I'm sure you've seen it. But the violent sword marks on the back were left by the sword demon. We knew that already. How come the sword marks were made on the monolith? Was there a reason why those marks were made damaging the founder's epiphany? The sword demon had already made copies. Huh. The sword demon had already made copies of the heavenly demonic founder's sword marks and organized the sword techniques into a secret book himself, okay? Where's his book, first and foremost? As for damaging the monolith, it was an unavoidable matter. Monk Gong, Monk Gong Woon of the Shaolin Temple was one of the five greatest martial artists, martial arts masters at the time. Oh, he was, oh shit, was murdered exactly two years later by the Blade God on a Mount Song, on Mount Song, in the Hen and the Henan province. Yo, this blade guy is just over here smoking everyone. What's up with this guy, bruv? So this is the big bad, right? So as Sasuke said earlier, we gotta find out why he needs to get stronger. It's to beat this guy. Who the fuck is this blade god? Then two years later. Another one of the five greatest martial art masters, the Death Steel Fist, King Yuk Jong Gyum, was slaughtered by the Glade by the Blade God in Jiangsu in Jiangsu Province. Jesus Christ! And because he fell to the heaven and earth, the heaven and earth net, his body was only found ten days after his death. Heaven and Earth Net is a technique that traps someone in an inescapable situation. Jesus Christ, bro. By another, by another one of the five greatest martial arts masters, do you mean? Yes. The three people that the Blade God went after were part of the five greatest martial arts masters. I, he has to be alive, bro. The... I, I definitely believe he's alive. There's no way, bruh. I feel like there's something up with this Blade guy. Something up with him. You know? With three of the greatest marshals, greatest masters fall into the Blade God, the Blade God's reputation skyrocketed. Among the five greatest masters, there was still Chong Young of the Wudang Sword Sage and the Sword Demon. But most of the marsh of the martial realm had already recognized the Blade God as the greatest martial artist in the world. Jesus Christ. The Sword Demon was a generational genius, yet after seeing the blade marks on the bodies, he had to admit that his current sword techniques even he could not defeat the Blade God. Damn.
he decided that in order to defeat the Blade God, he had to fight against the sword techniques, against sword techniques even more powerful than the Blade God's techniques. And that was the sword marks of the heavenly demonic sword art left on the Sapphire Monolith. Okay. The council elders decided that we couldn't also lose the sword demon. So they allowed him to train against the founder's sword marks on the monolith. So that's why the Destructive Sword Technique was on the monolith. Yep. But I wonder why the Destructive Sword Technique is only comprised of basic sword movements. Four years later, yep. Four years later, the, uh, the Blade God appeared at the Demonic's cult in Shinwan Mountain. So he defeated the Wudang Sword Sage first. That's right, sir. His final opponent was the Sword Demon. Jesus Christ. This is a lore dump, bro. The Sword Demon and the Blade God fought for four days and the battle ended as a draw in a draw as known. However, the Sword Demon had to pay a big price. He lost his right arm, which can be considered a martial arts treasure. Oh, damn. After that, the Blade God had no longer appeared in the martial realm. There were various rumors from how he died after he died after exhausting all his life energy to how it was only obvious that he disappeared now. Now that he became the only man to ever obtain the title of the strongest in the world as a blade user. Okay, so there are people talking about him, like he just died because he's like, I, I'm, I'm the best now, he just passed away. I think he's alive, bruv. <laughs> he's like, what's up with y'all in arms? Damn, facts. <clears throat> but even, but, but after that event, the code changed. The sword demon who exhausted his life energy from the fight with the blade god stepped down as his role from his role as vice lord. And Chion Muhua, the daughter of the previous lord, was appointed as lord at the age of 16. Needing to serve a female lord for the first time, the heads of the cult pestered her to change the tradition of selecting the future lord through the holy fire. Despite being the Lord, she was powerless, which is how the current clan system came to be. Wow, that's so fucked, bro. Lord Chion, Chion Muhua had five husbands in her life. Two of those were students of the sword demon, and they became roots of the dark clan and the... Ooh, interesting. I don't think we knew this. So two of her husbands were students of the sword demon and they became the roots of the dark clan and the sword clan. Okay. The other three were, the other three were the sons of the first, second and third council elders. They were members of the blade clan, poison clan and the sound clan respectively. Okay. Oof. Finally, to raise future generations, the Sword Demon founded the Demonic Academy. Do you know why I'm explaining this to you, sir? You're saying that the true objective of a Demonic Academy isn't just to raise future generations, yep. It's to find the true dude who can learn the actual sword technique, bro. Yeah, that's correct. There are two objectives, and one of them is to find an heir to the true learnings of the heavenly demonic founder. The sword demon himself lacked realization, so he was unable to reproduce the heavenly demonic sword art. But he believed that among the descendants of the Chion lineage, one would come to attain the secrets and the epiphany. Because of that, 
he had a he had to secure the detention center and sealed and the sealed demon cave which which is why he founded the demonic academy here and then he enacted rules to protect this place from the clans that rose to power and he said that if someone were to appear that succeeded the heavenly demonic founders learnings they should be accepted as the lord 500 years have passed since then but the sword demon sword demon's will did not come true and it simply became an oral tradition of the guardians families that is until you appeared while aiding the lord i've seen the heavenly demonic sword technique countless of times out on the battlefield did you think that i wouldn't leave i wouldn't realize the sword techniques you performed and we see boom prince yo stunned he's like oh shit someone knows stunned my man stunned bro sheesh yo the right guardian smart man he knows a lot of shit he knows a lot. I love that lore dump, bro. Getting a lot of the backstory of how this shit came to be. Realizing that there, there, it wasn't supposed to be the six main clans. Like, I really like that shit, bro. Let's keep going here. Three years ago. Heavenly demonic sword. Heavenly demonic sword art. Boom. He sees him stunned. That's far more precise and dynamic than the heavenly sword technique that I know. Could it be? At that time, I couldn't be sure it was the final epiphany of the heavenly demonic founder. It was only a single technique. And there was also the possibility that the current Lord taught it to him. So I thought I just observe a little longer. But heavenly demonic sword art. The first technique, I was able to confirm my suspicions then. While aiding the Lord on the uh while aiding the Lord. I've seen the heavenly demonic sword technique countless times on the battlefield. Did you think that I wouldn't recognize the sword techniques you performed? He asked Prince Yo. Prince are like, what? I will ask you one more time, sir. Did you manage to succeed the heavenly demonic founder's epiphany? I have no choice. Yup. He knows, bro. Prince Yo, you have to tell him. Because he already knows. So Prince Yo nods. <sighs> we knew he found out on uh, one of the tests and the MC's master was going to say something. Oh, true. I remember that. And then the right guard told him to shut up. Oh, yeah. Facts. Yo, music noodle, cheers to you. Hope you're doing well. Ha. Ah, boom, I'm in. Immediate bow, brev. I, Li Mua Myung, the left guardian, greet the true successor of the heavenly demonic founder. Woo. Love it. Love it. Left guardian, can I ask you something? Earlier, you said, you said there were two objectives for founding the Maya Academy. What was the other objective? That's... Okay, so wait, is it complicated? Because we cut away here. So we see, as he's about to tell Prince Yo what's happening, we cut away. Back to the Academy. Ah. Oh, back to the library. Excuse me. 
Ha! Huh. What brings you here, director? I'm here to enter the underground vault. W what? The underground vault? D d does that mean the sixteth was... <sighs> so is this gonna be exactly where he was? Or is this a new vault? Okay, so we see some kind of basement now. I heard I had heard there was a basement in the precious library, but it's surprising to see it actually in person. Greetings, director. Yo, so niggas is here guarding it at all times, bro. Open the doors of the underground vault. They're like, what? Does this mean this young man has passed the sixth test? He looks he looks like a posh rich kid that hasn't learned any martial arts, yet he's defeated. Yo, these motherfuckers know nothing. They just said that Prince Yo looks like a posh rich kid? They don't know a shit about how my man grew up, bruv. My man was from the trenches, bro. What are we talking about here? Nah, these niggas don't know shit. That's craziness, bro. Come on. I never thought that the undergr underground vault would be opened during my assignment here. So we see, it takes three keys, three motherfuckers to open this vault, bro. We see them, boom. I'll count us down. Three, two, one, boom. Door opens. It's cold. I'm telling you, yeah, classic one brain cell psychiatrist. Like, bro, like, you don't know a thing about my boy, bruv. Talking about he looked like a rich, a posh rich kid. What? Nigga. That shit got me, bro. That shit irked me, bro. I can't lie. That shit irked me just now. It's cold. And I could smell something weird. Is that leather? It's an odd smell. So we see, it gets the light. So this is the objective. This is... Whoa. An amputated arm and leather. Is this the smell of embalming chemicals? No, that's not all. The wounds. They're cut from a blade. And these aren't normal blade wounds. What the fuck? So there's some arm in this vault? I can feel a sense, a strong sharpness. So we see my man is visualizing this shit right now, bro. Jeez. Butterfly dance, the fifth technique. Connecting dance strike. So we see. Swift movements from our boy Prince Yo. Ping, ping, ping. How can this be? For such a blade technique to exist, even with the butterfly dance, I can't block more than two movements. This blade technique is that far above. Without sword techniques on the level of a destructive sword technique or the heavenly demonic sword art, I can't face it. So are these techniques that were left by the sword god? That's what I'm asking here. Did this, did this arm belong to the sword demon? Yup. You have a keen sense. That's right. It's the arm of the sword demon. As for the skins, they belong to the bodyguards and the guardians that were killed 500 years ago. And these, and these are the secret books left behind the, by the uh, sword demon, okay? Ah. 
true oh my god bro this is lit bro see three books true demon sword 24 demon swords and analysis of the blade gods techniques bro that's the book i'm looking at bruh analysis of the blade gods techniques when my man prince yo scans that into his brain with nano pack him up so this place wasn't just a f this wasn't just a find to find a successor and inherent the founder's learnings yo pass that book facts pass that book right now <laughs> So this place wasn't just to find a successor to inherit the founder's learnings, but also to find a disciple to inherit the sword demon's epiphany. That's correct. Wow. So he's going to get both? Man, to be more precise, it's to cultivate talent that can nullify the blade god's blade techniques. There's something the sword demon said before his passing. And what's that? In the fight that ended in a draw, the sword demon said that the blade god disappeared in the midst of their fight. And we see the this guy going at him, red eyes, all that. King arm is done. Cut. Kah. Kuh. I will be back. After that, the sword demon waited for four days. But in the end, he never came back. So the fight ended in a draw. What the fuck? Where did the guy go? Not once did the blade guy, the blade guy, excuse me, return in the 15 years till the blade the sword demon's passing it's been 500 years since truth be told i don't think a descendant of the blade god will ever appear but please nullify his blade techniques and fulfill the sword demon's long-awaited wish since the underground vault since the underground vault has no time limit, I shall give you the key. You can go out from the inside. You can go out from the inside even when the doors closed. But come back, come back in. You need to. But to come back in, you need a key. Got you. Okay. And then the, he just leaves the guardian. The a proper secret book. Of the demon of the sword demon. Okay, Nano, scan it. Yes, understood. True demon sword. It's superior to the martial arts of the six main clans, but it's not on the same level as the heavenly demon heavenly demonic sword art or the destructive sword techniques. It'll be good if I teach this to my subordinates that can use the sword. Analysis of the Blade God's techniques is a record of an is the record of an attempt at, an at analyzing the blade wounds that found to find the weakness, but he didn't make it. He didn't make it far. Oh, so that's what it was. Got you. So the analysis of the Blade God's moves is like them looking at these, you know, the arm, the like skin, the stuff like that, right? And trying to think what the fuck he does. Okay. This is... 24 Demon Swords. It's a new sword technique made using the realization from the, the destructive sword techniques as a base. Ooh. Okay. This sword guy is the biggest sword loser ever, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> He's tight. <laughs> This sword technique could be said to be the ultimate sword technique that the sword god created to combat the blade god. This is sad to say, 
But if the sword demon had fought till the end, he would have lost. Damn. So even Prince Yo was like, look, the blade guy was different, man. He was like, bro, sword demon, even if you would have like fought to the end, you would have got smoked, brother. The blade guy's techniques that I saw in my mind was a powerful technique that could rival the fourth technique of the heavenly demonic sword art. Let's see. Nano, activate augmented reality, displaying augmented reality in the user's vision. Nano, you're able to create a 3D video by extracting information from the wounds on the arm, right? Yes, it is possible. Simulate a fight between the 3D video and the fourth technique of the heavenly demonic sword art understood activating 3d video simulation using the blade techniques from the blade wounds and the movements of the heavenly demonic sword arts fourth technique and we we'll see how they go at it ping 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 ping, ping. they're going crazy bruv boom someone dies how can this be by the difference by the difference of a single strike, the blade skills, the, excuse me, the blade god's techniques was nullified, but the heavenly demonic sword art was pushed a whole three steps back. The heavenly demonic sword art is more complex, but the blade god's techniques are stronger in terms of raw power. Interesting. So they're different. If the wounds on the sword demon's arm are from the blade god's final technique, it's still inferior to the heavenly demonic sword art. However, if he had yet another technique that could be only the only martial art that could rival the heavenly demonic sword art, shit, he wants me to nullify the blade technique. No, I won't. Because I have Nano, I'm going to precisely replicate the technique with the traces left behind on the on the blade wounds. Jesus, this nigga is so different, bro. He's like, because I have Nano, I'm about to precisely replicate this whole thing. It's crazy, bro. He's like, I'm gonna make a legacy to surpass the Blade God, even when I'm dead. I'm gonna make my descendants hate the Blade God. Yo, I'm telling you, salty, bro. I'm telling you, the sword demon was salty. A blade technique that can rival the heavenly demonic sword art? What a great fortune. Oh my god, bro. That shit is crazy. So right now, what I'm thinking is... We know Prince Yo, right? He don't fuck with his deadbeat dad. And we know his deadbeat dad uses a form of the heavenly demonic sword art, right? So if he's able to learn the blade god's moves too, now he has like a direct counter to the other shit, right? Bro, that's OD. Bro, that is actually OD, bruv. Crazy. Crazy. These were wild, bruh. Two, two massive lore chapters and then a super sick action chapter, bro, bro. Clip was amazing. Now I'm really curious to see what the fuck is gonna happen and when he learns this new fucking technique, bro, from the Blade God. And my also, my also concern, other thing I have to say is, is there a descendant of the Blade God? Because I was thinking that he was something supernatural, so he would be still alive, you know? But it doesn't seem like that's the case. It seems like the sword, the blade god is probably dead, but there has to be a descendant of him, bro. I'm almost certain that that's gonna come up eventually, you know? But man, these three chapters were fucking fire, bro. Fucking fire. I can't wait. To see the next John, bro, I can't see the next conflict. We know. I, I want to know what happens next, bro, because 
now that he's finished the six tests, right? All the tests in the academy. What's next for Prince Yo? Just to prepare to fight the main clans? Yeah, we also got to see how they... How the other clans react to the elder being killed, you know? That's also we need to see. So, a lot of shit coming up, a lot of shit popping off, bro. But if you made it to the end of the live reaction, I appreciate you so much. The drone went crazy. So, if you enjoyed, please drop a like. It really helps the channel. Also, sub to the boy because I'm bringing different live reactions every week. So, yeah, I'm going to see y'all next week for more Nano Machine. I'm going to see y'all soon. Stay safe out in these streets, and I'm going to holler at y'all. Peace.